use the uh, term, like the, the hashtag turn up, um, because it's kind of one of those um, kind of terms which is used uh, when people want to go out and party and have fun and do something like, you know, wild and crazy. Art's always been a part of my life, like growing up. Um, both my parents are really um, artistic. Yeah, snowboarding was a huge part of my life. Um, living at the mountain, the types of people that I met, you know, a lot of people that snowboard are creative people in some kind of way, and so it's just another way of being creative, but on the snow, you know, my direction changed, and I really wanted to investigate the creative side. I just kind of realised that that's what I should have been doing since day one. You know, whether you're skateboarding or snowboarding, it was always about pushing yourself further physically. Yeah, risk taking is part of it. Part of the enjoyment of painting is is about discovery, about you know that looking into the void of the blank canvas and then starting from a point, and then and allowing the work to um, to evolve in a way. Many things inspire me from, yeah, just the love of nature to, um, to things I see in the city, from animation to comic books to advertising to popular culture, you know, all of those kind of visual references in terms of the way in which uh, those particular visual culture use colour and types of marks and types of line that they're drawing. For me, it's about understanding those formal conventions which make up that particular type of art and then how can I use those things within my own art practice. When I'm looking at painting or any other types of artwork I look at a sort of a sense of humour behind it. I mean you know for painting for me is very serious but what I find interesting is, is being playful not only with the types of marks that you're using but also the kinds of colours that I'm using as well so you know, using a lot of kind of pastels and uh, pinks and a childlike kind of palette in a way. Uh, you know, the work is about that. It's about fun. I'm drawn to things of complexity. What happens when I place this colour next to this? Um, what happens when I layer it? You know, how far can I push a painting before it, it doesn't work visually for me? Sometimes I use industrial paints and I'll just use whatever colours are there. But a lot of them are for interior design and, and home decorating and so um, a lot of those types of colours that I use are, are naturally will work together just tonally. When I started these I was thinking about trying to get like a really loose line against something which is kind of tight and fine and so um, and then start using it as a starting point and then you know often I'll prepare the grounds and then I'll, and I'll just start making. Um, you know, I'll select some colours that I'm going to start working with and then just start to build them up in that kind of way. But then once I start to make the works, often they change quite a bit from my initial idea. Um, and it's just the nature of painting. But I like to work on or two or three at once. Um, I, I think it's really difficult to work on one painting at a time. If you become stuck in the work, you know, I continue on in the other works. And through that kind of process, usually you find the answer that you need for the work that you're stuck on. There's just the freedom of being able to work in a, in a larger space. I always find it more difficult working on smaller works. It's so kind of confined. It's like a sentence where, you know, a large work is like, it's like a paragraph, you know, a small work's like one word, you know, it's just, can you stay, stay it in one word? Some people can, I, you know, for me, I struggle with that. I need space, large scale, to make things. I think every every place has a, um, you know, has points of difference, um, and that's just due to the culture, uh, merging of different cultures, um, and just place and what's happening in that area. So there's always going to be difference. It's easy to get some notice here in New Zealand because the art scene's so small, but. Um, not saying taking away from what other artists are doing, there's some amazing creative people down here. And it's just kind of sometimes it's always a bit of a shame that they are here and not somewhere else. It's cool we're here in New Zealand, but um, fortunately now a lot of artists can access you know, overseas via the internet. So 
um, you know, via blogs or um, websites, etc. And so they're able to kind of reach different kinds of audiences, which they never could 10 years ago. So, um, you know, one might argue that it doesn't really matter where you are in the world these days. 